So lately I've been thinking about that um, version of the Star Spangled Banner that that country singer sang. I've never heard of her before, but she sang it at the uh, baseball game. And initially everybody was taken aback by it, you know. But there's something about it just kept making me want to listen to it again. So I found it somewhere on YouTube and I listened to the whole thing from start to finish. I mean, it's a work of art. I mean, yes, because when new things come out, people are shocked or shocked by them or like startled like Picasso or something like that, you know, until it's later recognized that it's just like breaking new ground. Okay, she didn't deliberately try to sound like that. She was drunk. But in the process of singing in that way, she kind of summed up the way our country is now. It's like so confused and um, divided. And the struggle in her voice and the chaotic um, notes that she was singing kind of like struck a chord, well, at least with me. And I felt like the pain that people in our country are just going through now, well, can, at any moment it could completely change from a democracy to a dictatorship and and who knows what else, what hell will break loose, you know, at that point. And that was reflected in the, the music, the way she sang it. It was so emotive. She gave so much feeling in it. I think it's one of the best versions of the national anthem so i thought it was at first there's something about it that it's kind of cool you know i even played it for my son and he was laughing and we were laughing but the later i kind of was thinking i really kind of like it i'd actually if it was on a cd i would buy it you know somebody should put like a backing track to it or a rhythm track or do a remix of it and she didn't do it with the intention of saying, hey, yeah, I'm going to rec uh, do an avant-garde version of this. Um, but that's how it came out. I think you, so people are narrow-minded and say, okay, well, I feel bad she was drunk and all that. And, well, maybe I don't want to give a shit. But anyway, uh, that's my two cents on what I think about her. I don't even know what was her name again. Uh, she's pretty, and uh, I mean that's a plus. But yes, yeah, so listen to it. You you will feel the pain in her voice. Maybe that's why she got drunk. Maybe she didn't really want to sing that because it isn't like uh, a democracy where now they pass a Supreme Court passed a law where pre any president can do anything they want. And so that means they're going over the heads of the American people, and I think that pain. It's like, what the freaking point is singing this song about our flag and all the people that fought for our country? Well, now we have a king. We're continuing where we left off 250 years ago, and all those 250 years of progress are washed away, and we're just back to a king again. So it's kind of like, what the fuck? Maybe that's why she felt the way she felt when she sang that song. And so I think the feeling of that song conveys the current state of our country. It's just my... Uh, opinion. It's an honest version of the Star Spangled Banner in these current times. That's what I think, and I, I actually like the way she's saying there's a certain beauty to it. Yeah. <laughs>